what's going on so i'm going to be doing a tutorial for the aldrich fight and the all bosses speed run uh this is by far one of the most complex fights in my opinion simply because of the way the mechanics of the fight work and that if you want to be as efficient as possible there's a lot to learn so buckle in i'm going to try to showcase as much of this as i can um unfortunately i do not believe that ai disable works on this boss we will find out together and for the oh it seems it does so for entering this fight we're going to try to set up our stamina in a certain way to bait out one of three attacks at the start of the fight and essentially once we enter the fog well we're going to be sprinting and when i reach this little tile right here i then walk until my stamina is at full and then i sprint again so that's kind of the stamina you want to do uh so it would look something something along the lines of sprint walk sprint and that's kind of how you want to enter this fight um that way we can bait out one of those three attacks like i mentioned either the poke the double swipe or arrows uh, anything else we don't really want so this works out great so when we do this uh we're going to get one of those three attacks okay we have the arrows opener which uh with some debate is the fastest opener uh and essentially all you're going to do is when you enter if you get the arrows you're going to do two hits in the front of aldrich you're then going to sprint around to behind him, do four hits. And then as all, after you do those four hits, Aldrich is going to rotate and he's going to go ahead and start doing his teleport uh, away. You're going to come behind his tail, wait for the AOE to go away, and then do two tail hits. The next possible scenario is going to be the poke. And now the poke, you can actually get a one cycle off of if you get the appropriate follow-up. So for the poke, you're going to walk away a little bit. He's going to do the poke attack. You're going to roll back, attack the head four times. You're then going to walk away a little bit, come back in, do a hit, and then you're going to respond to the next attack accordingly. Uh, I will try to showcase a few of those. Uh, the third opener that you may get is a double swipe. And essentially, you'd enter in, you do two hits, roll, do an attack, walk around, wait for Aldrich to do the slam, do as many head hits as you can. Aldrich will back away, and then you'll do two hits. You'll then teleport. So those are pretty much the three starts of this fight. If you can learn those and get those down, you're in a great position. And you should pretty much always have Aldrich at about half HP or lower. You're then going to position yourself in an opposite quadrant of where you want Aldrich to teleport. Most runners will opt for the corner over here. So after those hits, I would kind of walk over here and then sprint over here to Aldrich. Um, if you reach Aldrich too quick after he teleports or she teleports... Um, she will instantly teleport away. So make sure that you kind of got to find the rhythm. And I will, again, be demonstrating the fight as many times as I can. So kind of watch on my timing. You'll also notice that when I enter the arena, you'll see a lot of runners go around this pillar. I don't like to. I like to go over this pillar. That is just the way I prefer it because it gives me a better follow-up attack in a few situations, which hopefully I can showcase. So I think that's most of the basics. The one last thing I want to note about Aldrich is the way damage works. Um, my values are going to be slightly off because I'm kind of off the cuff, like I said. But the tail hits do a certain amount of damage. Body hits do 1.5 times that amount of damage. And a head hit, if you actually manage to hit her head, will do two times the amount of damage as a tail hit. So you really want to be hitting the head or the body as much as you can uh, most of the time. So I think that's most of what is needed to actually enter this fight. Uh, I do want to note one other thing that I'm not sure how important it is, but I'm always very weary of it because of some testing I've done. I can't attest to the validity of this next statement, but it would seem that when you enter the fog wall here, you want to be as close to the fog wall as possible. It seems if you're far away, it can actually mess with the stamina at the opener because I think it pushes you through the fog wall to a different position. So just try to stand up against it. That's my recommendation. So I'll run through the fight uh, a couple times just so you can kind of give an idea of how the fight plays out. So this is the double swipe. Now walk over here. Sprint. Make sure I kind of walk here. You can do an attack. This is actually the best follow-up you can get. And just like this. And there's one of the possible outcomes for Aldrich. Okay, so let's just keep going. I think that's probably the best way to handle this. 
Um, the only thing that I probably will not be able to show you, and if I remember to, I'll put a clip of it at the end of this video. Uh, it is how to do the one cycle. I will, I'll take a, uh, a clip from my YouTube channel that I have, and I'll try to put it on this if I remember to. But again, I'll just run through this fight a couple times and kind of explain my methodology and the reasoning behind some of my actions. So, again, this opener. Again, I walk over here. I sprint. Kind of walk when I get to here. Okay, and now something I want to note about that attack right there. If you get that fast overhead slam in phase two, if you did not get the opener in fit like at the beginning of the fight that I got or the poke, I would recommend only doing two to three attacks and then backing away to bait out another attack from Aldrich. It is very hard with arrows opener to actually get the two cycle off that attack without baiting out another one. And a three cycle is much, much slower than just baiting out another attack. You can push it and try to get it, and it is possible. It does. This, it requires a lot of head hits, and that would just be my personal recommendation. If it if it comes up again, then uh, or rather, if arrows into that overhead slam comes up, uh, hopefully I can showcase what I mean of baiting another attack. So again, do my stamina. This is the poke. So I'm going to kind of walk away. One thing I want to quickly note about how I handle the poke attack. After I get those initial four head hits, you'll notice I kind of walk away from Aldrich a little bit. The reasoning for this is that if you're very, very close to him, he will actually just go ahead and do the slam attack for to teleport. So you have a little AOE. So you kind of want to back away and then come in as you see me doing the clip. Uh, there is some debate as to whether or not you should even try to um, bait out another attack like I do in this clip. If you want the one cycle RNG, you have to go ahead and back away. But consistently, if we're talking on average, you'll have better times if you actually tank the AoE. So that's up to you. Um, if you want to bait the AoE, uh, that's totally fine. All you got to do is just bait, the, uh, stay close to him, and do then get like about half your stamina, do an L1, R1, L1 attack uh, instead of backing away, getting the hit, and then waiting for the next attack. Okay, so that attack I got in phase two. That is the attack that the reasoning... When I walk over here, I don't go around this pillar. I go over it. Because that little um, curl attack, I like to strafe personally. So I'll get an attack here. And when I recognize it, I kind of walk like this behind him. And if you go, if you take a route like this instead of over that pillar, it gives you a much more awkward positioning. Aldrich's head, instead of coming down right here like it did for me, it'll actually come down more in line with this pillar, which will make it very hard to actually hit him and not clink on the pillar. So that's something, that is the reasoning behind my pathing when entering phase two. Uh, nothing really went wrong uh, that fight, except for the fact that at the beginning when I got the poke opener, I could have done a lot more damage. I was about 300 damage short of what I, I would like to be. And that's just because of my positioning when I was doing the attacks. Um, the positioning is not really tight, but there is kind of a sort of um, knack to it. So again... Now, if you roll early enough here, she'll actually push you, and it makes getting a body hit much easier. And here, you want to regenerate about half your stamina bar. Otherwise, you'll get a half hit on that second hit. Again, walk. Now, this attack is really annoying. I like to do a rolling attack, roll the second swipe, and then attack the head. The hardest two comp or two phase uh, or two cycle rather that you can do for Aldrich is the arrows into that attack. Um, I did a rolling attack there because it's easier, but it will do less damage than doing a roll in a normal attack. You can also try to strafe it. That's what Fool does, but I personally do not like the strafe and I do not recommend the strafe. Uh, however, if you find it more comfortable, by all means, uh, check out. I think v Fool's PB actually does it. So I think check that out. So again, we're going to try to roll a little bit early. That will push me with the body, which means I'll get a body hit, which is more damage. Four body hits. Get about half my stamina. And this will just make sure I don't get a half hit there at the end. And then here, we're just going to do two hits. Turn. Attack the head. 
Just like that. So here we go. Arrows again. Much better this time. Sprint a little bit. Get full stamina. Do four hits. Walk away. AoE goes off. Do two tail hits. I go to full stamina after that. That is probably the best combination of attacks you can get apart from the one cycle. And I think we'll probably do one or two more fights, um, and that should suffice as a good representation of a lot of the different things you can have happen. Uh, I'm failing to think if there's anything else I want to mention for this fight. Um, as far as attacks go. So here I didn't roll early enough, so I'm only going to get like a half hit or a body hit. Or not get a body hit. But that's okay. Generate about that much stamina. Walk here. Go for an attack. Again, I'm going to walk forward to strafe this attack. Do two to three hits. Just like that. We'll talk about the bone timing. So once Aldrich starts to collapse like that at the end, once she starts to fall down... You're good to go ahead and bone. I should probably mention that now. Uh, and we'll do like one more fight just to kind of... Uh, just to kind of cover as much ground as I can. So many different possibilities. And like I said, I will be showing a one cycle at the end of this. Just so people can kind of see it. Um, there is some debate as to whether or not you should go for the one cycle. Uh, it is faster. But also... Um, if you don't actually get the right RNG and you don't get the one cycle, you will lose about five seconds over a two cycle. So again, walk away. Do two hits. Go to full stamina. Come over here. Do an attack. So here, perfect. I got the fast overhead slam. I'm going to do two hits and just walk away. I'll even heal. And then we get this attack. Perfect. So that's what I was talking about. If you get that overhead slam, it's very hard to actually finish him off there. So I would just recommend baiting out another attack. Um, I think that's most of the things on Aldrich worth noting. Everything else, I would recommend checking out the Speed Souls website. They show all of the individual attacks and the best way to respond to them. So I would kind of check that out. And if you have anything that like, you know, maybe watch through this and then go check that out. And if you see an attack there that you recognize from this and you're kind of struggling to visualize it in a run... You can cross-reference with this. Um, I think Aldrich is probably the hardest fight in this run to learn. Once you get this fight down, it is super consistent. And it is the least stressful fight in the run for me personally. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and just ask away. As well, as feel free to check me out on Twitch. I'll link that below and probably even pin a comment with it. So thank you. All right, so here's the one cycle Aldrich I said I was going to show. So as you'll see, I'll get arrows open here. Or not arrows, sorry, the poke opener. And I'll respond how I did in the rest of the video. Four attacks here. I'll then back away. Get a hit right here. Aldrich is going to do the swipe attack. I will roll with the direction of it. I will then go for three head hits. Snag one more right there. Finish him off. Uh, there's a few different ways to do it. Wider's PB also has it. His 115 on the leaderboard. It's 115 even. You can find that. Hope it helped.